nice when we're sailing. You're coming too. What started as a dream is now our reality. Six years ago, we poured her ballast, raised every frame, cut every plank, and named her Red Aviva. Ready for life back on the ocean, this year we're determined yeah. to set sail. Would you look at that? I'd say that's the making of a fine cruising vessel. <laughs> We're salt and tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for joining us. All right, back to my little project today. I got some stuff to put the hose onto these walls once I get them in. I'll figure out the side walls, and right now I'm just gonna do this one, this one, and I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do with that uh, last sort of frame bay. All the hoses will make this turn around here. The green hoses are the big emergency crash pump bilge and I'm gonna run them up along here. So I've got another corner to take out of this and then I think cut it to height and then I'll be able to fasten them. This is my first solo kind of building project, I guess. And I'm just keeping this space simple. And I think that's kind of a good way to separate this space a bit. And then I will take this panel off uh, just to repaint this area. But I think that's just gonna be, you know, spare parts or engine kind of things. Um, cause that won't be the easier place once this kind of mattress cushion is in. It's kind of going to be that back corner. So it's going to be the least access, accessed spot. All right, let's get started. So I got this copper roll of, um, I guess it's hanger strap. So I can just put a fastener, loop it around, it's super pliable, and that's what I'm gonna kinda use to get the hoses to these walls, the back side of the walls, so it'll make it nice and neat. While I'm down in her belly, Garrett's on her foredeck, shaping the main gaff a little further. Now that the gaff is shaped to Garrett's liking, he adds the leather. This is to protect both the jaws and the mast from chewing each other up as the gaff rides up and down as we raise and lower the sail. Got a few 
screws in the base there, but as you can see, the hoses are just completely in the way. And uh, so because the two bilge pumps are in this frame bay at the middle there of the bilge, I think those are going to have to be on the bottom. The exhaust hose I'm going to have to have sit on top. And I'm going to go exhaust hose, bilge one, bilge two. Let's see if this will work. So it's going to go up. And then back. So I'll cut somewhere there. Spigots are looks like they're holding great. It's been several days, and there's been there's been pressure in the hoses, and there's no leaking. So, going to do the first trial run with our saltwater wash down. So, pretty stoked. Haven't used it yet, so I don't know how it's gonna what the pressure is gonna be like, but I've got high hopes. <laughs> ah. You can hear the pump still going down there. Yeah. There it is. Oh. There it is. Whoa. That's pretty oh, good. Yeah. That's <laughs> Maybe awesome. don't even need a scrub brush. <laughs> That's sweet. Check that out. Oh, this is going to be so nice when we're sailing. Yeah, who needs a shower down below? It's going to be such a luxury while we're sailing. tight space here but I'm starting to get the hoses mounted on these 
walls and then I'll make the templates for my port to starboard walls. So we're just using this copper hanger wire. I've got the exhaust hose more or less in place. I'll probably put another one, another one there. Now to mount this one. panel. Now I'll attach it to this panel and then figure out my 90s. After staring for quite a while, I decided it'd be easier to get my 90 degree fittings on before attaching the hoses to the wall. So heat gun to soften the PVC hose, then this PVC glue which dries quick once it contacts the heated hose. thought the grunts were so ridiculous but <laughs> it helps <laughs> it really helps <laughs> helps to grunt and yell at this I was about to give up until I did and then I got that extra half inch I needed <laughs> uh. right. one bill just almost hooked up So the other day Garrett shaped the main gaff down a little bit. It was kind of a little bit oblong. We just didn't go fully round with it. And then we've been debating whether or not to sh further shape down the main boom. So the wind is light today. So that's what Garrett's gonna tackle. And I'm gonna keep going on my <laughs> plumbing, rearranging and tidying. <laughs> First, gotta get the main boom up to the truck so Garrett can shape it over at the bunker.
To shape the main boom, Garrett gets to break out one of his favorite tools, the slick. set up I can get back to what I'm so close to finishing I have one more section to cut from the main roll one more to trim and then I can attach it all I think I've just got one more elbow to attach to one end and then I can put it all together and then uh, use more of the copper hanger strap to put it up and away and then the uh, emergency bilge pumps will be run neatly all the way back to the aft box and then I can continue uh, sort of sectioning off the port quarter here. So I think my, my first solo project is going pretty good. It's definitely taking longer than I expected. I think this is like my third day uh, working on it and I think the first first day was pretty short because uh, Garrett wasn't really feeling good, so we kind of uh, that's when we did the teak oil. So maybe it's been four days. Anyway, it's been a couple days now, and I guess it's not really taking that long. So I'm gonna start working on tapering the main boom now. I'm gonna take like a inch off of it, give or take, and then I'm gonna kind of slowly taper it into the size it is now. Yeah, I'm gonna take an inch off of the uh, thickness for most of the length. The way I do that, just really quick and easy way, is figure out where I wanna start the taper and um, my set my blade depth on my skill saw to one inch and just run a ton of cuts with the skill saw all the way down there and then when I get to this line I want my taper to be two foot long um, so this mark to this mark is two feet and so it's segmented up in six inch sections until the last section that's uh, two three inch sections so once I get to here and this six inches I'll readjust my blade depth to three quarters so this will be cut to three quarters and I'll set it to half inch then quarter inch then eighth inch then sixteenth and then that'll give me like a rough taper I'll use the hand planes and sanders and everything to finish everything out and get it nice and smooth and it's quick and it works and it looks pretty good
Up next, Garrett switches from slick to planer, and I install more walls and build some hatches. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next week. You got some crazy hairs. Ow. On the end of the bow sprit. Oh. The <laughs> yeah, sun. the sun's up there. <laughs> <laughs>